Hello YouTube, today we're gonna to talk about this Outbrain Adware spyware. Um, I'm gonna tell you how to fix your computer, but first I'm going to show you how to, let's look at that, see I already got it, look at that, my malware blocked it. But um, but what I wanted to do first was show you why I got it. So as you can see, this has pop-ups malware. Um, these ads here have changed now. So now I can block it, but before this I accidentally clicked on um, actually, what it happened was in this upper left corner on Google Chrome, it said show or block notifications. Would you like to proceed? And I accidentally hit enter on my keyboard and that was the worst mistake I've ever made. So that's how I got it. So after some further investigation, it looks like Outbrain does do some sort of sponsorships with this company called Ad Maven. And Ad Maven is the leading pop under network. So they basically do pop ups and push notifications. So this is the stuff you don't want. Um, you know, again, this is all a business. You know, the more people they can get clicked on, the more impressions they get, that's more traffic. Traffic can then be monetized. So unfortunately, they're just playing the game that we're in with online marketing. Um, they're just playing on the very unethical side of it. And unfortunately, it's not illegal. It's just morally corrupt and it sucks really bad. But uh, in case you're wondering, it's probably Ad Maven or something similar that put a pop up uh, malware or spyware on your computer and they make it intentionally difficult to get rid of this stuff um, so they can continually feed you these push notifications and pop ups. Um, what happened is I had this thing called Outbrain. I'll show you what it looks like. Basically, it popped up little rectangles on my lower right corner of my screen with article recommendations. I then sent an email to their, because the opt out was not easy. I was like, okay, maybe I can just opt out of this, get it removed on its own. And uh, that was not the case. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I removed it and how to get rid of it. But uh, I also want to show you what exactly I'm talking about so you can see if you, the same thing happened to you or not. So for this process, we're basically just gonna back up your Google Chrome, uninstall it, uninstall your extensions because that's where this thing is stored, and then reinstall Google Chrome. Should take you a total of 15 to 20 minutes, um, and you can follow these steps exactly. So before you uninstall, you might wanna just back up your bookmarks so they're gonna be there for you, and it'll be a seamless process, you won't lose it. So go to um, Bookmark Manager, these little three dots over here under blue, and then export bookmarks, and that'll go ahead and save all your bookmarks into a file, and then you can re-import those later. We're actually gonna go C drive, users, go into the main user, app data, local, should be one called Google, Chrome, user data, default extensions. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all these. So if any ones are hiding out. All right, we're going to go ahead and uninstall Google Chrome. I'm going to delete everything. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just um, I'm gonna restart really quick. All right, next thing I did was just go to any kind of web browser you have. I happen to have Bing. Go ahead and download Chrome. I'm not gonna click this. Accept and install. You can also um, there's other programs you could do to easily install things on your computer. And we're gonna go ahead and install Chrome. All right, we now have Google Chrome freshly in installed. And you just want to go ahead and go to your bookmarks and input your bookmarks and settings. So if you save those earlier, it's really easy to just click this, find the file location, wherever you saved it before, probably in your documents, and load it up. And then you should be back to where you were with your bookmarks with a fresh install of Chrome. And if you do have any extensions that you still want, just go back in and re-download those, those extensions. Logging in is up to you. I mean, it makes a better browsing experience, but they're going to know a lot more about you. So that's up to you whether you'd like to sign in here or not. 
One other thing about signing in is sometimes that saves your extensions. And if one of the extensions you have is the one that, um, as you see here, it's saying installed extension. If one of them was the adware, it could get reinstalled. So do be cautious um, signing in. You might have to restart over, but some of you might be able to get away with it as well. But just be forewarned. So there you have it. I have successfully reinstalled my Google Chrome before I was getting pop-ups from this company called Outbrain. And no matter what I did, even with their opt-out settings, it would not totally remove it. And I would still get article recommendations because it was embedded into an extension. When I went to extensions, it wouldn't show me the extension. It was hidden somewhere. So rather than trying to track down all the files and figure out what to delete, simply I deleted them all. I backed up my bookmarks and I reinstalled Google Chrome. It took me about 10 or 15 minutes. And now I have a fresh install and I probably deleted some other stuff that have been accumulating on there ever since. Now there is programs like Malware Bytes, which I do use. There's a free version. There's also a premium version as well. The premium version does protect you a little bit more and it is a fairly good deal. The other thing is there is a program called Spy Hunter as well, which I am told should help you get rid of that um, the adware that I'm talking about, the Outbrain and probably others as well. The only problem with that is I didn't want to pay the money. Um, I'm sure you can get it in other places, but that might be another option for you, Spy Hunter. Uh, you can Google that. So between Malwarebytes, Spy Hunter, or manually removing it, that should solve your problem. Everyone's computer is a little different, but uh, that should get you started. A couple other programs to consider is CC Cleaner, as that'll help you know remove a lot of the junk on your computer, clean your registry files, things like that, and then a, a good virus scan as well, just to double check that you don't have anything serious on your computer. So I hope this helped you out. Let me know if you guys got any questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.